Hi, I'm Gar Veos here at the Eurogame Expo 2012 with uh, Patrick Buckland, CEO and co-founder of Stainless Games. So how are you finding the Expo so far? Things are going well? Uh, yeah, it's absolutely magic. Um, getting a lot of interest in Carmageddon. Um, so yeah, we've been dead busy. It's only day one of four. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, and I noticed you've got Carmageddon Fun Size at uh, the Expo at the moment. How well is that being received by uh, the public? Uh, very well so far. Um, it's the first time it's been shown in public. Um, it should be launched hopefully uh, the week after next, so people are going to play it then. Um, but yeah, loads of people are playing it, picking it up, enjoying it straight away, reliving their old childhood memories when they were playing it when they shouldn't be. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I was granted I was about 10 years old when the original game came out, but I still played it. I mean, uh, it's a really fantastic game, but I suppose uh, the question on everybody's mind is Carmageddon Reincarnation. Uh, how's the development going with that so far? Uh, it's going very well. We're about 30% through, really, with that. Um, really getting up to speed properly at the moment. We're recruiting the team, um, so we're still um, yeah, getting people together for it. So we've been getting on with uh, this mobile version, uh, whilst we're planning, really, the, the uh, full version of Reincarnation. So um, Reincarnation will be out sometime next year, is all we can really say at the moment. So the mobile version and tablet version was out there to, um, to, to get the, the, yeah, the game back out there, get people playing Carmageddon. Otherwise it's an awfully long time to wait uh, before Reincarnation comes out. So get them to play the old game on their, you know, their, their mobiles and their tablets. It suits that platform very well. Um, while we're then working on the, you know, the real, the big hitter, which will be Reincarnation. Excellent. I know um, Reincarnation got its funding mainly through the Kickstart website. Did you expect uh, the support you did from the community? Oh, it was great, yeah. I mean, the, um, again, like we're seeing today here, yeah, we got a lot of recognition. A lot of people enjoyed the game and loved the game. And um, there's one thing saying that and different thing putting your money where your mouth is. So it's great, yeah, to see people actually um, you know, pre-buying uh, the game on Kickstarter. Um, we're also putting a lot of money into it ourselves as well. Uh, plus, part of the point of doing this mobile and tablet version is to help fund reincarnation. It's all part of the same drive. So all the profits um, from this mobile version are all being ploughed into reincarnation. Um, so the more we sell of this, the more scope we can get in the, the full game, really. There's so much we want to do with reincarnation. So many platforms we want to support, like console as well. Uh, but it just costs an awful lot to make a game these days. Yeah, I mean, um, in regards to uh, the stainless uh, developer team, yeah. how much of the original Carmageddon team are working on reincarnation? Um, of, the, of the eight original team, five of them um, are still with us. Uh, plus, we've got guys from uh, Karma 2 as well. Um, so, a lot of people have actually lost count how many, actually. A, lo a lot of people have come back to us as well. Uh, because when we got the rights back, and um, we still have a lot of the original members anyway, but a few people have come back explicitly for this, um, including one guy all the way from Australia, where the um, artist, um, yeah, um, he's come all the way back. Um, quite a few of the original, but the original team, let's say, five out of eight of the actual Karma One original team. Fantastic. And um, in regards to reincarnation, what uh, sort of improvements will we see uh, compared to the last game? Oh, obviously, a huge amount of improvements. Still going to have the Karma Gang ethos. Don't mean that game, uh, but now to a large degree the hardware is caught up with us. Now all the stuff we really wanted to do, the proper um, immersive behaviour that you get in an environment, the, that sandbox environment, um, the hardware wasn't up to it before. Uh, now it is, so we can do some all the sort of stuff we always wanted to do, particular car damage and environmental damage, um, loads of stuff like that, loads of new power-ups that will really affect the, affect the environment around you and uh, the classic power-up um, stacking that you get in Carmageddon, which we always had before. There were power-up combinations that we never planned. You get some combination of four power-ups that would do something that never occurred to us. Now, you'll get that a lot more in reincarnation because the whole environment will be fully physicking. So, I mean, stuff you can do that we never thought of. Um, what we're also doing in reincarnation as well is a lot of modability. Um, so, even on consoles, you'll be able to mod to some degree uh, but on PC, Mac and Linux, um, you'll be able to, for example, write your own power-ups, um, all the scripting. So, you know, I've got an averagely competent person to create new power-ups and change the game, So, which will be great fun. 
That sounds amazing. I can't wait to get my hands on it when it finally comes out. And um, so back in back to the original Calm again. Uh, who's your favourite driver and why? Well, I guess I've got to say me because I was Vlad. <laughs> Although my, well, I was Vlad in the original game in Karma 2, my car, my TVR was in there, the purple um, TVR Cerbera, which I got in a lot of trouble with TVR for that because we never licensed it from them. So, <laughs> But luckily TVR have gone bust now. So <laughs> okay. still driving TVR. So <laughs> Brilliant. Well, thanks very much for your time today, and I uh, hope uh, you get a lot more funding for reincarnation, and I hope it all goes well next year. And uh, one final question: um, games or pie? Oh, pie, I think. Pie. Brilliant. Thank you very much. I've <laughs> I've been Garveos uh, at Eurogamer 2012, and uh, visit plusxp.com. <laughs>